I know a few people have asked me, how come you're not running level 100s, or are you running level 100s yet? Um, and the answer is no. The answer is no because I need better rolls on my gear, and to get better rolls on my gear, I just gotta spam dungeons. One thing I did not realize till recently in this game is just how much armor plays a role. Now, armor is really good. We all know that it reduces physical damage, but it also reduces non-physical damage as well. But recently, I've realized just how important it is, and having under 6,000 armor is just not enough. Welcome, everybody. If you don't know me, I'm Bear Cozy. Today, we're going to run... Uh, we're not going to run Betrayer's Row because I hate Betrayer's Row. Today, we're going to run Serret's Lair. Level 51, Tier 51, Nightmare Dungeon. Uh, we're going to start off here. I am level 91 currently. Uh, the good news is our critical strike chance is increased by 9%. The elites always have poison. Monsters also deal 20% of their physical as lightning. Uh, whatever. All right, jumping into level 51. Um, sip of coffee right before we get in, and we'll get started. By the way, how cool is this owl mug? Check this thing out. It's really cool. Uh, I have like uh, five or six different ones. They look different with different colors. I really enjoy them. So one thing I did not realize is just how important armor was. Right now, I have 6,500 armor. We've changed our build slightly, and uh, we're going to do the things. Now, right now, as I attack, as you can see, armor goes up to 8,300. Um, and that, what is that? Reduction by 80%, something like that. It does go down. Um, it goes up because of the imprint on our, used to be on our necklace. I've changed things up. It is now on the pants. It's now on the pants. But uh, it does go up to 8,300, which is good. I am on a mission to get a little bit more armor because I've realized recently just how important it is. I have tried to push tier 60s, and tier 60s things just kill me really, really quickly because I don't have enough armor. Now... Uh, to push higher from here, I am only running tier 51 right now, still working on glyphs. And to, in all honesty, to push higher from here, I do need better gear, right? And I need more armor percentage rolls. Right now, let me kill this guy. Right now, um, the poison doesn't really help. But uh, I'm trying to think and play at the same time. So right now, I only have one armor percentage roll, and that's on the helmet. Six total percent armor. I need more because every time you see a video for uh, Endgame for Tier 100, the uh, the aspects are good, but they always have perfect rolls. Um, they have perfect gear with perfect rolls and um, lots of lots of armor, lots of everything they need. Right, maximum rolls on the max life, uh, max rolls on the armor, or pretty damn close to it. So, believe it or not, I was rocking 6,000 armor. Um, just, yeah, right around 6k armor with the extra armor aspect as well that generates armor. And that was okay, but one thing I realized was just how much of a difference it made going from 6,000 armor to, uh, what are we, over a little over 8,000. Uh, made a huge difference, believe it or not. I want to get out of that. I don't want to tank that. That's going to blow up. He is fire enhanced, so we do have to be careful there. Um, as soon as he dies. That, that's a little spicy. There we go. That, that is a little spicy. Let's go ahead and grab... Oof. Tried to dodge it, and then I went back in for... <laughs> I went back in for the potions. So I did not realize just how much that extra five 600 armor makes. Um, as I upgraded... I changed my pants, by the way. I had Pants of Temerity. The downside with Pants of Temerity is it did not have an armor percentage roll. Um, generated a good barrier, but as I started pushing 59... Uh, tier 58, 59, 60... I actually started dying a lot because I didn't have the damage reduction. So it's great for generating a massive barrier, but it's actually not so great for the substat rolls. So right now I am looking for a slightly better pants, slightly uh, better chest piece as well. I am working on getting some better gear so I can push a little higher. But for right now, we're going to... Wow, that was a cool slide. He just kind of paused and then kept sliding. Um, so right now we're looking for a better, better gear, better armor percentage rolls. Uh, to make us a little bit tankier. I am also experimenting with Paragon a little. Probably shouldn't be experimenting so much, but eh, I can't help myself. Anyways, this game is all about having fun, uh, and I'm having fun. Uh, I also, by the way, I also got my boots. Got the Penitent Greaves. Uh, yeah, that's a thing. Ran a dungeon, and it came at the end of, uh, actually, this level. Uh, at the end of a dungeon, as a dungeon completion reward, I got my Penitent Greaves. So that was cool. Not what's going on over here. Uh, Shadow Step, please and thank you. There we go. So I got the Penitent Greaves. I'm rocking those out. 91 levels it took me. Believe it or not, it took me 91 levels. Uh, not 
<laughs> not ideal. Not ideal. 91 levels. I leveled. The funny thing is control the control glyph, which works really well with uh, chilled and frozen enemies, was the very first glyph that I leveled. So I leveled that glyph first, uh, hoping I would get the pants, believing I would get the pants by the time the glyph was leveled. And then all of a sudden, no boots. So that's the thing. Uh, it, it took me 91 levels to get the boots. Right now, I do have the boots. I'm also rocking the Dark Shroud. We're pushing level 50s. I know these are not level 100s. Uh, level 100, it's actually level 100s. You need extremely good rolls on your gear. At least that's been my experience. I'm not a professional player. I do like to have fun. I do also try to have a good time. Be entertaining, as entertaining as I can. Uh, sometimes my energy levels are higher than other days because I'm either pushing my workouts too hard or I'm actually dieting or a combination of both. I am uh, currently jumping rope. So, all right, let's go ahead and pop this. Oh, one other change I've made. The other change that I have actually made is I got this shadow clone that taunts everybody, which is good. That's on the Wrathful Heart in the ring. So right now I'm trying out two blue rings for the blue hearts. I really don't want to play with these guys. I want to finish this dungeon. Um, and that's working out nice. That is... Where is it? Uh, apparently, it's on a necklace. Yep, Shadow Decoy. It used to be on the ring. So I have two sets. I have two necklaces, and I have uh, four rings. Actually, five rings. And I'm experimenting with different things to see what I like the best. Not necessarily what's the best in-game, but what I enjoy playing the most. For me, uh, I play for enjoyment. I don't play to be the best. Now, of course going through everything and rocking everything out you just blowing everything up is a lot of fun uh but you also got to have fun so if you're playing something that you don't enjoy it's going to be very difficult you're not going to you're not going to stick with it right even though it might be broken or it might be overpowered you're not going to stick with it because it's just it's going to feel really bad so i'm just trying out different things uh these guys all have poison so i do have to kind of go back and forth a little bit let's pop this that should taunt them all and then we're just going to go back and forth as the blades fly through. Um, they're going to daze everybody. And then uh, the grenades are actually going to stun and freeze. I want to pop a couple of potions. Still struggling a little bit with the poisons. My poison resistance is low. Uh, two things I actually struggle with. Poison, which isn't too bad. Poison I can manage. You can walk out of it, heal up or whatever. The lightning obelisk is a very, very... Uh, very difficult, especially when there are elites, when there's like two or more elites with Lightning Obelisk. That gets really, really difficult. Um, we're also rocking grenades. Grenades drop, and they have a chance to freeze uh, chilled enemies. That's the word I'm looking for, chilled enemies. Are we done? No, we got one more. This one's going a little bit slower, and I'm talking a lot, but it's fun. So tier 51, tier 55, fairly comfortable, unless they're all ranged. Uh, when they are all ranged, what I found is they typically reduce my armor down to uh, down to 70%. So they reduce it by 30%. It's like 6% per stack, up to 5 stacks. So 30% less armor, which doesn't feel good considering I don't have... I mean, I'm doing okay right now. The armor is, what, 8,200? 8, uh, the attack power is over 10k, so that's awesome. It does go up to 10k, so that's really, really good. Really enjoying that. Um, still feeling a little bit weak, to be honest, and uh, that's probably because I've had my weapons since, I want to say, late 70s, early 80s. So I've had my weapons for at least 10 levels. Most of my gear is like 10 levels old, so not too bad. Um, I've also re-talented a couple of... Uh, let's get out of that. Don't want to get blown up. There's the Shadow Decoy right there. I've also changed my Paragon around. Not really liking it. I'm trying. There is a Paragon node. Travel to the Queen's Den. There is a Paragon node that actually allows us to execute injured enemies, which is okay. Uh, up to 30% to execute injured non-elites, which in theory sounds good. Um, however, I have to give up other things like extra damage to crowd-controlled enemies, which, of course, when enemies are chilled by my boots, uh, when they are grenaded, when they are dazed or stunned, they are crowd-controlled. So the extra damage we're giving up, and we're also giving up a 12% extra reduction from elites as well and crowd control enemies. So I don't know that the extra chance, the 30% chance to execute is nice. You can see it there. Uh, makes non-elites blow up quick, but we don't struggle with non-elites. We struggle with, come here, where are you? 
we struggle with uh, elites, especially in a room. There are some dungeons that I just don't like. Some dungeons have eight elites in them, seven to eight elites, um, and they all have multiple enhancements, which is really bad. Ooh, and we got a uh, ancestral amulet. Let's check that out. Let's get the sigil as well. Where is our? There it is. Okay, so this one is complete, and I got Penitent Greaves. I got a second pair of Penitent Greaves, uh, same level, all in one level. So, yeah, I kind of, me and my buddy were joking around with it, and uh, my buddy was making fun of me because all of my friends have it, and I haven't gotten any, and I said, you watch, I'm going to get five in, like, back-to-back -back within one level. So that is my second pair of Penitent Greaves. That's like my fifth pair of this uh, Reign of Arrows. This one's actually terrible. I've tried it. Terrible. But uh, second pair of Pennington Greaves. Let's take a look at the level. 799. Uh, this one is 808. So if I upgrade right now, the new ones are obviously not upgraded. So things go down. However, do we have anything? They look like they're pretty much the same. Other than you deal 10% extra damage uh, as opposed to 9. So this one actually max rolled. So it might be worth it. I don't know if it's... We're kind of splitting hairs here. Shall we go to Forgotten Ruins? I think we shall. Let's take a look at this one. Another level 50. I have a, a level 59 and a 60. Last time I did a 59, um, I actually almost cleared it. I got stuck in one room. There was seven elites in there, two of which had Lightning Obelisk, and two of which were uh, Cold Enchanted. So between the Lightning Obelisk and the Cold, uh, GG. Let's go ahead and run this. Uh, what does this one do? You occasionally call down Lightning Strikes, deal uh, damage nearby enemy. That's okay. Killing a monster releases a deadly Lightning Pulse. Monsters deal 20% additional physical damage as Lightning. Oh boy, monsters become unstoppable and gain extra life. So this one's going to be a lot of fun. So some dungeon combinations are really, really bad. They have large rooms of elites where they spawn seven different elites. Uh, one of my least favorite ones was Betrayer's Row. Betrayer's Row is absolutely terrible because of all the... Um because of all the ranged enemies. Uh, Iron Hold, I don't like because of all the doors. All the freaking doors. I got a 59, Path of the Blind. Uh, gonna try it, not today. And then I have a le uh, level 60, gonna try it as well. I do want to get a little bit more armor. Life is okay. Attack power is pretty good. It does pop over 10k. And the armor goes up to over 8300. I think it reduces incoming damage by 78. Gotta get that up a little bit higher. Uh, other than that, I think we're going to do good. By the way, this gives us some armor reduction as well. Some combinations of enemies. Uh, just, I don't know if it's RNG or what, but some combinations of enemies are actually like a little too much. I'll be chugging along, going really well, running at tier 59. Everything is going good. And then all of a sudden, it just, it feels comfortable. Feels comfortable doing plenty of damage. And then all of a sudden, just a combination of RNG. And or, ooh, almost took that one right in the face. Um, and then all of a sudden the combination of RNG enhancements from the elites just makes me blow up. So I'm going to work on improving some of that. Also, I heard one of my friends had told me that I was not aware is that Blizzard had mentioned that uh, I guess uh, resistances don't work quite right. They don't function quite right. Uh, elemental resistances is what I mean. And uh, I guess the thing to do right now is stack an armor, which I was aware of. So getting more armor is always beneficial. Let's, uh, what do we want to kill first? Let's go over here, see if we can drop some grenades. There's, there's the uh, decoy coming out. So the decoy is actually very, very much needed for, I would say, in my opinion, it's needed. I'm sure there's people that probably found a way to run it without the decoy. Maybe with lots of grenades. But the decoy is needed. It uh, takes all the heat off of you. Uh, tracks all the enemies. La, la, la. Okay, so we actually dodged that one. Most of the time I just eat them. Not on purpose. <laughs> because I'm busy chatting. So the decoy is very good. It takes a lot of heat off of you. Um, so you can actually you take essentially less damage. The other thing that I've been experimenting on. I'm curious to see if you've tried this. I have a helmet somewhere with... Not the Dark Shroud one. I got a helmet somewhere that uh, crowd control enemies deal 30% less damage. Um, and if you put it on a necklace, it actually ends up being like 37, 40%. So try that one, it seemed, uh, seemed a lot better. It seemed very, very tanky. Um, however, because of because of the Pants of Temerity and the Penitent Greaves, I was finding myself not having enough room for the aspects. And I've dropped the Pants of Temerity, which as you know, if you've seen my other videos, ooh, let's get this, it's not cursed, all right. So if you've seen my other videos, Pants of Temerity actually gave me a really nice barrier generation 
because of the amount of healing that I was able to do. So I always had a barrier that was over 5,000. Right now, I don't have a barrier in favor for a little more armor. Uh, another aspect. Let's see what's over here. Um, hopefully, it's just one elite, one elite, two elites, three elites. We can handle. What we can't handle is seven elites. Sometimes rooms like this spawn up to seven elites is what I've seen. Um, and when they are, when two of them or more are, let's say, frozen and lightning or something like that, when you have two or more with the same affix, it's just it's very, very bad, right? So, um, yeah, when you're constantly frozen, you can't move, it's not a good feeling. So I hope Blizzard addresses that. And that, I believe, came with the extra mob density. Extra mob density is fantastic. I wish it was a little bit more, uh, but less elites. <laughs> <laughs> Elites are hard enough to kill. Let's go ahead and run out. I'm going to dash in, drop the smoke grenade as we dash, and that should deal more damage. There it goes. They're just going to rinse and repeat sometimes. Uh, yep. Did I get... Still got frozen. Okay. So, not too bad. Sometimes you have to... Sometimes it's just the damage is just not there for whatever reason. Either we're missing crits or whatever we're doing is just not working. So, I want to try to be offensive if I can. Uh, when we dash, drops the smoke grenade which is nice. Smoke Grenade makes enemies. He just healed up a little rascal. Smoke Grenade uh, makes enemies take 20% extra damage. There we go. And of course, I need some new weapons, but we're doing okay. Tier 50 right now. We're going to go to Tier 55 soon. I've run a few Tier 55s. Run a Tier 56. It's okay. Um, and right now, what I'm noticing is it depends on which dungeon it is. And the, the one that I've really struggled with is the one where the Elemental Pylon chases you. You require additional pylons. So there's a pylon overhead that chases you the whole time. You're trying to do damage. And because I'm melee, it makes it very difficult, especially in a closed off room. You go in a room, it gets closed off. A bunch of uh, seven, seven elites. Uh, where am I going? Return the mechanical box. Seven elites and then the pylon right on top in a closed room can't go anywhere. And you just end up taking damage. So... It doesn't work out well. Um, all right, let's uh, let me focus a little bit, see what's going on here. So right now things are going pretty good. Feel like the damage could be a little bit higher, but it also depends on the monster enchantments, the on the uh, dungeon affix as well. You know, if they're taking less damage from shadow, forty percent less damage from shadow. Of course, that's going to affect it. Uh, this room is looking a little spicy. I might have to, yeah, especially with this guy. See, this is where I struggle. Damage resistance aura with all the elites as well. Look at all the elites in there. Uh, shadow damage coming out, so as long as, plus the stun too. So I want to dash over to the other side. Yep. I want to dash over to the other side. I don't think I'm going to be able to grab this. Uh, frozen, chilling wind, poison. Oof. Alright, let's play this smart. I want to see if I can kite them, maybe one at a time, maybe two at a time. I really don't want to... There we go. I really don't want to tank all of them, especially when they, uh, there's frozens and stuff in there, so that's just really bad one of the mistakes i made here is i ended up using shadow step prematurely let's jump in daze them grenades go out they get frozen i do have a eight percent chance ten percent chance for all imbuements to get applied that is off of the wrathful heart to my attacks so that works out nice so there we go that actually worked out pretty good uh worked smart because we are pushing we're we're only in 50 and i still have to be careful but this is a new experience for me. I don't get to play a ton. So right now, at this point, for me to be able to push 60 and up, I actually just need better rolls. I need to get uh, armor percentage rolls like I do on my helmet. I need to get that on my chest and my pants as well. Um, so that'll work out, hopefully, something like this. Damage reduction and then damage reduction while injured um, and then maybe armor percentage and uh, something else we'll have to see so right now it's just spamming dungeons there's really nothing else to it other than just spamming dungeons wow i took a lot of damage there huh um yeah other than just spamming dungeons so that's the name of the game so that is the reason why i'm not pushing higher tiers right now i know a few let me get out of that uh obelisk plus a stun equals gg i know a few people have asked me how come you're not running level 100s or are you running level 100s yet um, and the answer is no. The answer is no because I need better rolls on my gear. And to get better rolls on my gear, I just got to spam dungeons. So that's that's the thing. Uh, if if somebody who is much better than me, they get better rolls. Uh, somebody that is a full-time content creator, they have time to run dungeons. They have time to play. They have time 
they have time to get five characters, five classes to level 100 before I get one to level 100. So they have more experience, which is okay, right? If somebody enjoys playing and they are lucky enough or they've worked hard enough to be a full-time con content creator, that's awesome. All right, we're still going to have fun. We're going to enjoy it. Just because I'm not the best doesn't mean we're not having a good time. I know lots of people enjoy watching these videos. I try to be as entertaining as I can be. Wow, that just melted there. Uh, there we go. So as soon as the damage resistance aura goes down, plus things blow up. As soon as we kill them, I believe they become unstoppable. Plus they have 30% extra HP. If I remember correctly, so they, they are taking a little bit longer to kill than I like. But that's okay. So I see on the map... I see the triangle, which is where we got to pick up. But I also know there's a leech guarding it. So I want to be a little bit careful here. I want to try and kite maybe one. Let's go ahead and do that. Freeze him. Put a shadow trap de uh, decoy. Put a decoy down. Did not mean to double dash there. That might be uh, that might be the end of me here. Let's step out. This guy's poison. I want to kill this guy. Um, and then let's uh, dash out of that because things are going to blow up. Decoy goes down, which is takes to takes uh, it takes the heat off of us, right? It helps us to. I want to get out of that. That's gonna blow up for sure. Yeah, there we go. So I got out of that, which was good. Um, the decoy helps to take the heat off of us, and that's nice. I don't like all the stuns though. I think the crowd control does need to be tuned down a little bit. One of the complaints I've been hearing a lot from some of my friends, as well as the community is not only is the crowd control a little too much, but the mob density is just not there. Um, there are other games with lots of... Oh, I was hoping to get... I stopped talking. If I don't talk, they won't see me. Um, the, the most enjoyable games, in my opinion, are the ones with lots and lots of enemies, higher mob densities, and then you just kind of slaughter everything as you go. D3 is a good example of that. Uh, Path of Exile, I haven't played, but it looks awesome. I am waiting on PoE 2. I have friends that play PoE 1. Too late for me to get into it now. Just missed it. Don't know how I missed it, but I missed it. Uh, let's see. Defeat uh, Slither. So let's uh, let's go play with the snake. We got the shadow. Everything should be okay. Dash over to the other side. No, we can't. Evade over to the other side. There we go. Uh, drop some grenades. And then as soon as we're going to just walk out of that. One of the cool thing about having the boots. I got used to this build with no boots. One of the cool thing about not having Penitent Greaves was the fact that I had four evade charges so I could evade all over the place. The grenades would go down everywhere, which was awesome. Uh, let's do this. Let's just dash in, daze him. Hopefully he'll take some extra damage. Nope. Haha. <laughs> Saving the... Uh, oh, wow. I shadow stepped and still... Still nothing. Still got dazed. Okay. No big deal. So the Penitent Greaves are awesome. Visually visually awesome looking my damage is lacking a little bit on the bosses because i changed one of my boards around um so i actually took out the board that gives them 15 percent extra uh, vulnerability when you attack one percent per attack up to 15 percent swapped that board around for the board with the penitent greaves for extra control i'd have to see um uh, have to see which board it is we'll take a look right after so Damage on bosses is a little bit lower, but as I mentioned, I like to try different things because sometimes you might find something that works really, really well and that you were not expecting. So there we go. Let's take a look at the... Uh, this is okay. Not Nothing nothing great here. So I did swap my board around, board four. The first three are the same. I did make a video guide on the first three, how I was getting uh, over 10K life and a giant barrier for over 6K. So I was getting like... 16 17,000 HP combined. So I swapped out this board here, cheap shot for the board that gives you a vulnerability. There was a board here. Let me take a look. Let me take a couple of these points out. Still experimenting with some points. I'll take a couple of these points out. So the board that I actually took out Whenever you deal damage to a vulnerable enemy, they take 1% increased damage for 6 seconds. So now that I'm pushing higher dungeons, I might actually end up doing this. And this this might actually be okay if we start up here or maybe up there. I'm not really sure. I had it in place of 4. Um, and this one here, Cheap Shot, was 5. Uh, exploit Weakness was 4. So I might end up actually swapping these around because I don't really need some of these nodes. It just feels like this is too much, too many points here, too much going on. But at any rate, I'm going to continue playing around with this. I'm going to continue farming gear because right now, the name of the game is to continue farming gear. 
Let's uh, let's drop that, pick up this, and to check for better rolls. And this is kind of how we do it. So from here on out, the name of the game is to just continue farming stuff. I'm going to continue. Oh, let's not forget upgrading this. I am working on control. I'm going to continue farming stuff, running some more dungeons, and trying to get better rolls than what I already have. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Really appreciate you watching all my videos. Do me a huge favor. If you're enjoying these progressive videos, if you're enjoying the commentary and watching me progress through the dungeons, leave me a nice comment down below. Also, hit the like and the subscribe. And if you want to help my channel grow, check out the playlist in the top right and just let that sucker play for a while. That's going to do it for me. I'll see you in game.